Hey y'all, it's Mr. Jarrett. Today we're going to work on plumbing. Um, today's objectives, um, students will be able to identify the most common tools used in the plumbing trade and we'll also be able to identify the steps um, to sweat copper pipe. Okay, y'all, it's Mr. Jarrett. Uh, these are the tools that we need to start um, sweating copper pipe. Okay, the first thing that we need when we sweat copper pipe is our PPE, personal protective equipment. Right here, we're going to need gloves um, to protect our hands. Uh, I should have some glasses in front of me, but I do not have them for some reason. I do not know where they are, but before we do any tasks, make sure we have our PPE. That's the first thing, safety first. Okay, next. I have our soldering torch. This is our torch right here. Right here, I have propane, mat, I mean propane gas, and I have yellow can, which is matte gas. I'm going to talk about the difference between these two a little later, but right now we're going to use propane. First thing you want to do when you're using um, a soldering torch, you want to screw it on top of the propane. And you want to make sure this is nice and tight. There we go. Okay, next thing you want to do is open this valve. Because now when we open this valve, the gas that's in here is going to come up. And let's hit this igniter right here. There we go. So we have our soldering torch, propane gas, mat gas. Okay, let's go down to these beauties right here. Right here we have pipe cutters, tube cutters, pipe cutters. Now you can see these are different sizes. Uh, these are used to cut copper pipe. And there are different sizes of copper pipe. I'm going to get into that a little later in our later videos. But these are the tube cutters that we use to cut pop copper pipe. Right now, we have flux. That's flux with an F. I've been in classes where they forget the L and they're just saying anything. Okay, these, this is solder. I mean, this is flux right here. Um, we use this, I'm going to show you the process. We use this when we sweat copper pipe. Next, we have our rag. Um, we use this to wipe our joints when we are done. Next, we have a brush. Um, we use this brush to actually apply the flux. Right here, we have solder. We use this as well. I'm going to show you, so I'm just telling you everything. Right here, we have abrasive open mesh. We use this to clean the pipes. There are several um, ways you can do it. This is one. Open mesh, if you look at it, right through. Now this one right here, you will put the pipe in there, and that's how you clean the pipe. Alright, this is abrasive cloth. As you can see, let me open it up so you can see it. That's how you learn by seeing what it's doing. This cloth, as you can see, is different from the mesh. See the difference in the tip? You can see through this one. This right here is cloth. And last but not least, we're going to need a tape measure to measure our pipe when we cut. Okay, so let's do a recap. Make sure that we're all on the same page. Put this back in here. Number one, we have our torch head. 
Number two, don't cheat. We have our propane, propane gas. Number three, our mat gas. Number four, this is flux. Make sure you say the L, flux. Number five, we have our solder. Number six, we have our tube cutters or pipe cutters. Number seven, our red. Number eight, our brush. Now we're going to put these in the same family. We have our pipe cleaners, our tape measure, and then we have our gloves and our glasses, but they're not available for this video. Make sure we have our glasses, safety first. And these are our gloves, our correct PPA. All right, next video, I'm going to set up everything so you can actually see these tools in use. Okay, first thing you want to do, we want to get our half inch copper pipe, okay? So this is our copper pipe right here, half inch. Next step, we're going to get our tape measure, our trusted tape. We're going to measure six inches. Okay, next, we see our mark right here, which is at six inches. We want to open up our pipe cutter. Now, you want to sit this copper pipe on the wheels that's right here. You want to sit it there, and you want to make sure that it lines up directly with this wheel right here. That's what we're going to use to cut. Now you want to tighten it up, but you don't want to tighten it too tight because right now we're just scoring. As you can see, then you're going to feel it start loosening up. Tighten it a half inch. We'll turn it a little bit more. Turn the doll halfway. You want to feel it loosen it up. Tighten it again. Slow and steady wins the race. There's no rush. Take your time. There we go. So right now, we got it cut. Our next thing is, we're gonna call what we say, ring the pipe. And when we do that, we're gonna take all these little burrs when we cut the pipe, clean that out. Okay, next, I'm going to show you two different ways. Now, with this pipe cleaner, we put it in. Turn it. That's how we clean it. You see the difference? See? Before, after. Before, after. Let me show you another way. this, turn it, or you can do it like this, it's like this, I need to have this anchored down to the desk, but what happens is, when you have this anchored in, it won't move, and you just hold this and go this way, and you hold it and go this way, cleans it as well. Another thing that you have to do is, once you use these products, you have to clean out the inside. So you put this in there, just turn it, clean out the inside to help get the loose birds from out of there. Okay, so let me use this. Let 
Next step, we're going to get the flux. Now, what you want to do is a lot of plumbers that I used to work with, they would just have this, put a little X in there, cut it with a knife, and just keep the brush in there. I did that once and it spilled out in my bag, and I was really upset. All right, so next, what you want to do is you want to apply the flux around here go the same direction our next step this fitting right here is called an elbow next step we're going to put our fitting right over there Our next step, brush it on, same direction. Okay, so we have it set up now. We apply, we cut the pipe, which is step one. After we cut the pipe, we ringed out the pipe. We got the loose burrs from out from the inside of the pipe. Next, we applied our flux. Then we got our fitting next. We put our fitting on top of the pipe. We covered it. Next, we got our next pipe and did the exact, exact same thing. We cut the pipe, cleaned the outside, loose burrs. Put the pipe in, and now we're ready to solder. That step, we're going to have to go outside. All right, so right now, I have our solder. You see the tip right here? We want to bend that a little bit. Just a little bit. I have a church head on. So now what I want to do is, I want to heat this up right here. So I'm going to hold it right here. Do is I want to keep checking. When you see the solder start sizzling, it'll be ready to get the flux. I mean, when you see the flux start sizzling, it's ready to get the solder. That's our first joint. What you want to do is you just want to wipe it off. You want to be as neat as possible when you do this. Let's spin this again. And next you want to hit this, this joint right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We have our torch. It's already on. Hit the igniter. Okay, so this is our finished product. Uh, this is our solder right here. Everything's connected. Now, what happens is we're going to go, I'm going to have pictures after this video, and I want you to identify the tools in your use.